Hey guys, it's DC here and welcome to Distro Review. So today you might guess from either the thumbnail or the title of the video or maybe the pictures of parrots everywhere. I'm going to review Parrot OS. Now I know in the last video that I did I was talking about Kali vs Parrot and a comparison there and I want to expand on that a little bit more in this video. A bit of an introduction to Parrot is uh, it's basically the same as Kali, it's got all those sort of tools but it's made for I guess more of like a daily driver type situation which is what I'm going to focus on mostly in this video. For ease of installation um, I could not for the life of me get it on my 2012 MacBook. It kept airing out on writing to the disk for some random reason. I don't know, maybe the uh, the disk on that Mac is, is shattered or it just doesn't like MacBook hardware. I have absolutely no idea. But I did manage to get it on Mr. Trusty over here, the uh, Dell Latitude E4310. So, great. Now, the OS itself is actually uh, fairly well laid out. I actually, I really enjoy the layout and the general GUI of the OS. I think, in general, it's pretty, pretty nice. It's good to use, it's easy to use easy to find things and uh, yeah it's a uh, it's pretty quick and snappy and um, as a daily uh, ethical hacking or cyber security machine it's actually pretty sweet this latest version which I think is like 4.8 or 4.9 is uh, it's pretty good it's much better than its earlier revisions and you know you would hope that it only gets better in time it's missing a couple of things that Kali has like the incognito mode thing which to be honest, there's like much of a muchness, but because of how the GUI is laid out in this, you don't really need to hide what you're doing because it doesn't look like full hack spec anyway, right? But don't let that take away from its features which are as good as Kali's as far as penetration testing goes. So then I guess the question comes down to why do I prefer Kali over Parrot? And to be honest, it's because I'm a creature of habit. I've always used Kali. I'm, uh, I guess I'm stuck in my old ways with Kali. And uh, yeah, I, I just prefer Kali as a system, especially the Mate version of it, which I've been using a fair bit lately. And that's got nothing to do with me being Australian, mate. The only thing that I don't like about Parrot, really, is that these sort of operating systems are not meant to be a daily driver system. They're, they were never really designed to be your daily driver for pen testing operations. Usually what you do with a Kali or a, like a, a pen testing system is you have it on like a live boot USB like this one here or you have it on a separate laptop that you're running uh, just for those pen testing operations. You don't really have that computer being used every single day with all of your emails and different files, photos, you know, bookmarks to your social media accounts and stuff like that. You, you just don't really use it for that. That's not what Kali was designed for. But that is exactly what Parrot seems to be designed for. It's designed for those people who want a system that they can use every day, but also do some pen testing stuff on the site. Which is great, I guess, if you're not really an ethical hacker, but you're maybe learning about cybersecurity. That is super useful to have because then you can get really familiar with using a Linux operating system while also having access to all of those different uh, ethical hacking or pen testing tools that you don't normally get with something like Ubuntu. So for usability, I'm going to give uh, Parrot uh, probably about a 9 out of 10. It's, it's super easy to use. It's quick, snappy, it's very pretty and uh, it, it just seems to work. It's kind of like Ubuntu, to be honest, but with all the tools pre-installed for ethical hacking activities. But for actual ethical hacking, would I use this over my familiar Kali box? Probably not, to be completely honest with you. I don't think I would use it like that. That's not to say that it's, it's not good to be used like that. Like, you can definitely use it like that if you really want. And what I mean by that is, like, that doesn't mean you can't use it as your you know, pen testing machine while also being your daily driver machine. It's just that I, I believe personally myself that if you're going to be doing ethical hacking activities, the last thing you want is any sort of links back to you. And I know that's like super privacy concern, right? But at the same time, like why why would you do it like that? It just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. Someone please explain. But as an overall OS, it's really neat. It's great for learning. And uh, like I said before, if you want to run it as your daily driver while also doing some pen testing activities, it's absolutely premium. It's great. I guess something worth mentioning here is how many people in cybersecurity do I personally know who would use Parrot over Kali? And I think the answer is probably zero. Unless they're probably on the same boat as me where they're saying that yes, it's a great operating system and yes, you can use it as your daily, but are they going to? Probably not. They might use it actually as their daily machine 
and then have like a live boot Kali uh, USB or SD card lying around where they're doing all of their pen testing activities. It's just it's just that Kali is made for it. Whereas a carrot is sort of made to have the best of both worlds, but there's no such thing as the best of both worlds. Some other things worth mentioning is that uh, Parrot has all of the same sort of tools. You can still do all of your same like Wi-Fi exploitation, SQL injection, fun stuff. You can write Python scripts, all all that good stuff. And it it's great for all of that. But at the same time, like I said in my last video, you can always cut and choose with different Linux distros on which one, which aspects you want to have in. So when I eventually get to my Arch review, you'll see I'll build a full custom system and I'll probably run that for a couple of weeks to um, to get familiar with. But yeah, as an overall operating system, Parrot, pretty cool. Would I use it? Maybe if I wanted to learn Linux. Uh, would I use it for pen tests? Probably not. I'd probably stick with Kali. Based on that, I'm more familiar with it. There's more documentation out there for it. And like the OSCP is based off Kali. So there is that as well. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Parrot. Have you used it recently? Would you use it as your full-time machine? Would you use it as your ethical hacking machine? Would you use it as both? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all on the next video. Oh, 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 oh.